Hey y'all, it's Day, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get some quick curls and to create this easy curly fro hawk using my Yellow Organics products. Starting on freshly co-washed hair, I'll be using the Babasu Deep Conditioner. This deep conditioner is lightweight, but instantly absorbs into my hair, leaving it so soft for easy finger detangling. Now this part is optional, but because I have low porosity, I always like to do a touch of heat with a hooded dryer or my handheld steamer. So I'll be using my Curidu today. Low porosity means my hair's cuticles are shut tight, which makes it a little difficult for products to penetrate my strands, but a little dose of warmth will lift my cuticles right up, allowing for even more moisture to penetrate. After applying the product and steam treating, my hair is feeling very lightweight and soft. And then after rinsing it out, it remains super soft and I can still feel the oils from the deep conditioner. Next up, I'll be using my Yale Organics White Peony Leave-In Conditioner, followed up with the Avocado Hair Milk as my styler today for a twist and curl. I'm going to be spraying the leave-in conditioner on and then layering it on top with the moisture milk. And y'all, this moisture milk is my must-have item from my Yale Organics. It has avocado in it, which is a hydrating ingredient, so it actually does penetrate my hair strand. This moisture milk also gives a soft hold for styling and it makes my hair smooth for easy rotting. So if you're new to my channel, I do all my twist outs with a three strand twist and I'll have a tutorial for that linked here. My hair is just so thick that two strand twists don't hold in my hair so I really don't even try anymore. Then I'm going to coil my hair downward kind of like how I wrap my hair for a bantu knot. And I'm still trying to figure out this coiling downward thing, but once I do, you know I got y'all with a tutorial. For a detailed explanation, definitely watch the video I have linked, but to quickly explain the three strand twist, take a section of hair, break it down into three strands, then start the section with a plait. Then stop and take the outside strand, bring it across the other two, then take the strand that just went from the middle to the outside, bring that across the other two, and repeat until you're about midway down. Alright, so this is the next day after I sat under the dryer and air dried overnight. Sitting under the dryer is optional, I choose to do so because lately my hair just doesn't dry in the morning without it. So to start unraveling the twist, I'm going to be using my Yale Organics Mint Almond Oil, which is completing my process to hydrate and seal my hair with the LCO method. Once I'm all unraveled, I go through and lift my roots, then I begin to separate. Now the trick to the twist and curl is to not over separate because when we unravel, we already started separating the twist. Also, separate where the section actually comes apart. Twist and curls do not give the most defined curls, but they are quick and easy, which is what I needed because I'm going to pin my hair up today. I'm all done with the twist and curl and it's really popping but I really wanted that bang back out fro hockey looking thing I don't have a name for it so I'm gonna go ahead and start that so for this look I'll be using some clips a scrunchie a brush and some gel so I'm gonna start by eyeballing my bang size and clip that section out the way then I'm going to clip both sides of my hair from about where the ear is you may have to adjust that depending on how long your hair is so to blend later. So now that I got both of those clipped out the way, I'm going to go ahead and smooth both sides upward with some gel, get it nice and sleek, then I'm going to take my scrunchie and make a tight ponytail with both sides. If your hair allows you to pin your hair up with some bobby pins, then by all means do that, but my thick hair never holds with that. The tension just goes away, so I always use a scrunchie when I can. So now I'm just going to fluff all my hair with the pick so that you can't see the difference between the bang, the ponytail, and the back that was left out. And this is the final look. It's so simple but super cute. So that's all I got for you guys today. Let me know how you guys like my organics. This stuff has my hair so soft and moisturized right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see some more styles that I achieve with just a scrunchie, I do have that video linked right here. Bye!